It was announced today that parades planned for the upcoming Ura Council transition anniversary ceremony have been cancelled, and that the ceremony will now be held only within the royal residence. This is said to be out of consideration for the people who lost loved ones in the tragedy on the Wall Highlands. The Uman citizen that was recently reported missing was discovered in the base of the Ypsilon Mountains today. Apparently, after leaving the city for business, the citizen encountered an unidentified creature on an Uman road and fled for his life. He was later found wandering in the wilderness by a merchant who was passing through the area. Now in an extremely weakened condition, he's being nursed back to health at his home. A guard who patrols the outer wall of the city warned that there are many magical creatures in the wilderness, making it extremely dangerous for the general public to venture out of the city. Today marked the initial trial run of a brand new magical engine at the factory in Ura. This factory has been working on developing a magic train for quite some time, and thanks to this new device, they say that we could see a much more advanced train in the very near future. Northern nation Gotza has already completed development of their own magic train, and up until now there has been criticism that our own Uruk research was falling behind. However, this new development has rendered that criticism meaningless. Many fellow researchers and engineers were present at the unveiling of this new technology, asking many questions about the new development. Yesterday, the Uran Central Council announced that they are evaluating a revised draft of basic plans for the magic industrial revolution. This new proposal would allow for more appropriate research to be carried out, helping to further the revolution. Critics fear that this new proposal will see large budget cuts for magical research, but the Council has denied this, saying they realize the importance of staying ahead of Gotza, whose magical research poses a threat to our nation. <laughs> 